is Liam Thomas. I run two businesses, uh, We Eat The Sun and Medium Rare. We Eat The Sun focuses on custom wood solutions, anything really, uh, small scale custom objects, and Medium Rare focuses on the restoration and repair of mid-century furniture. Enthusiasts of mid-century furniture, uh, often with a, a particular problem with their furniture, broken parts, uh, that require um, really quite complex technical solutions to repair that. And with We Eat The Sun, some of my clients there are local designers and I help facilitate uh, bringing to life their designs. I am a big believer in the mixed use of technology and tradition. Technology being contemporary machinery and even contemporary takes on hand tools and tradition being the application of those hand tools as well. So I think there's a great mix being able to use, particularly CNC, to produce complex shapes and processes, but hand tools to refine and to do the last 5% of that work. So I've had my uh, CNC machine for 18 months now, initially purchased with the idea for batch production, but now I look at using the machine in more new and interesting ways. Uh, much like a man with a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Myself with a CNC, everything looks like an opportunity to use that machine to improve my processes. My first impression of the 5.0 robotic CNC was that it packed all the features that I needed from an industrial machine into a smaller format. Specifically, I have a background in working in a number of furniture making workshops uh, that employed very expensive, large format um, CNC machines. And so having an experience of high quality machines, I wanted the same quality in a smaller format. I think one of the big uh, benefits of the 5.0 uh, machinery options is not being tied into proprietary machinery software. Uh, some experience with that in the past is running very old, outdated software and trying to fudge it to get it to do what you want. Uh, the 5.0 solution is much more flexible than that. I've had no concerns with the machine whatsoever when it comes to cutting dense timbers. Uh, obviously the appropriate uh, tool paths and feed rates are important, but uh, yeah, it's been fantastic. The machine is accurate. Any inaccuracies that come, come from me. <laughs> it's such a common thing though, right? Like, it's, I program it, but it's usually me that makes the stuff up, right? It, it, it does what I tell it to do, so. It really came down to the 5.0 robotics machine. Everything else just looked a bit too flimsy for what I wanted. And, uh, and since having it, I think it's fair to say that my experience with older, larger industrial CNC machines, that this machine um, compares very favorably to them. Would you say there's no other machine on the market like it? There is no other machine on the market like it. <laughs> but it's true. Yeah, it's true, it's true. I think for uh, small scale furniture making, uh, if you're making chair components, even um, dining table components, small batch production work, uh, it's ideal for that. For the footprint of the machine, uh, the space that it takes up, this is a 10 by 10 workshop, I can't afford any more space and it's ideal for my needs. In fact, I don't think there's been any time in using this machine where I think it's, I've ever felt that it's been underpowered. I've never had that once. I can have it running in the background and I can focus on that 5% hand tool, important hand tool work that needs um, careful attention and detail. And the machine's running, I can be at my bench doing that work. This is a classic example of mid-century furniture repair, uh, a Grant Featherston uh, contour chair base. Um, often they come in uh, in various states of disrepair. This one has been repaired a bunch of times over the years and uh, the client has asked for a replacement rather than repairing this. Uh, I've made many of these over the years, either replacement parts or entire bases, uh, and most of the work has been done laboriously by hand. In this instance is this uh, compound half lap joint in the middle, and while the machine kind of partially cuts that, I can come in and do the work uh, in 10 minutes rather than you know two hours work to get to this point. And this is the final result. Back leg gets curved there. I mean, had this at the VWA years ago. I went to a um, AGM and they were talking about um, someone was showing their work on slides on a CNC work, and uh, one of the older members was like, "This is destroying furniture making," and I kind of popped up and I said, did the thickness of destroy furniture making when people couldn't um, you know, dimension all their panels by hand? Did that destroy furniture making? It didn't, right? It just kind of made it better and more efficient. Uh, being very fussy about my work and wanting a, uh, and not liking off the shelf options, I told 5.0 that I didn't want their clients and that I would make all of my own. And the CNC has allowed me to do that. And uh, if they want to buy my client from me, they can.